and good morning welcome back to my channel so uh, the last video saw us uh, trying to retrieve that um, tiny whoop mob like seven from the palm tree uh, i would like to finish that video but um, this video kind of like takes precedence over that one so today we're going to look at the happy model cine 8 which is an 80 millimeter cine whoop and this one is a kit, so for all those of you out there who likes to get your hands on to build your own quad, this is the kit for you. Um, this one doesn't have any soldering involved, so this is just kind of like, you know, um, assemble them all together and plug in and fly. Uh, of course, you have to bind first. So we're going to go through all that process in a while. It also takes up to 4S. Yes! Um, kind of like similar to the rest of the, you know, Micro senior whoops. So this flight controller takes up to four cells. So that's 14.8 volts, which is pretty amazing for a small quad. So that said and done, let's get down to building it. All right, so what we have here is the SPI FreeSky. So this is the version that I have and the uh, instruction manual. Uh, seems pretty detailed, except it's a little small. And these are the instructions for setting it up on Betaflight. Alright, I love these stickers. And then we have the um, Happy Model VTX. And the motors, these are the 1202.5s. The Gemfen Doctor Props, 51mm. And the Cadex Ant Nano. So I love this uh, camera, it's pretty light, and I like this uh, plastic protector that comes with it. Alright, and uh, duct tape, no oh, that's double side tape. Hey, this looks interesting, what is this? Oh, it's a USB extension and to USB-C, that's very strange, USB-C. but. It's good. Right, then this is the uh, Cadex controller, screwdriver, lens protector, Insta360 Go mount, and the uh, main TPU ducks. This it's a little flimsy, but the pre quality is pretty good. Some screws. Oh yeah, we have the uh, top plate. And the bottom plate, this is where you're gonna fit the flight controller and the foam protector for the ducts and the main frame. Alright, so let's get down to building and I'm gonna start with the motors first because this is uh, like so much easier to do. So just make sure that the um, motors with the red dot on the connector is on the right, and uh, this is a great reminder. And thank you, Nathan Loops, for reminding me that. Right, so once the motors are all in, uh, we're gonna put the base plate of the flight controller at the bottom. Right, so there are two nylon screws and these screws go to the front and rear of the frame. Alright, just making sure that everything is in its correct position. It's like, you know, check thrice, do once. Many times where I have to yeah, just like do many times when I just check once. Okay, so um, this particular nylon screw is a little strange, the one that fits the uh, VTX, so I had to use this uh, screw tip that's got a flat head on, on it. This is the only one that will allow this to allow me to screw the nylon screws into the TPU. All right, so I'm gonna be using this PDB uh, omnidirectional antenna because I, I don't really like the dipole. Yeah, I think that's the only um, change that I'm gonna be doing to this. Making sure all the wires are sitting right and make sure that they are, you know, tucked nicely, neatly. So camera wires goes straight into the VTX. 
and um, oh yes so we're gonna do the top plate but I do recommend um, putting the top plate last because I, I made a mistake there and uh, here we have the Insta360 go mount uh, right at the front uh, on top of the uh, Cadex Ant and, and it's, it's uh, these nuts are really really small so you gotta be really dexterous with you know screwing the nuts in Alright, so all done and we're gonna put the TPU ducts onto the main frame itself. Alright, so there are six screws that secures the ducts to the main frame, two at the center sides and four at each corner of the quad. These are the self-tapping screws that's provided. nice enough so I'm gonna place the wires and connect them to the VTX right so this is what I'm talking about where we have to uh, put the straps and the uh, XT30 connectors battery connectors so yeah I screwed them a little too early Right, so the, just make sure that the USB is facing on the front right, right? So this is to ensure that your flight controller is in the correct position where the antennas are facing the rear. So just uh, checking that everything in its proper place. Uh, this wire, I'm just going to tuck this excess wires here. That's for the external receivers if you guys have any. And then we're gonna screw down the top plate. So there's a hole at the bottom, so that's where the uh, XT30 wires comes out from. All right, so it looks okay. That's actually pretty nice. I'm just gonna secure this um, foam onto the TPU with some double side tape that's provided. And this are uh, really some sticky double side tape. just gonna place uh, them in the important sections of the foam just to make sure that it doesn't come off during flight now just make sure that these uh, four screws are screwed in from the TPU to the foam all right with all that and just checking the props i, I prefer the props to be um, spinning props out so it's going to be in this orientation all right just making sure that they're all correctly placed again this is a these are the gem fan ducted 51 millimeters total weight goes at around 84 because of my additional antenna the uh, speedb antenna it's uh, some weight and this uh, 3s battery from gnb brings us to about 109 all right so the cine whoop looks good all right and we're ready to fly all right so with all that built and done and bound so let's do some flying
All right, folks, so that's about it. So, you know, thanks for watching and we will see you guys again soon.